Hello everyone, this is Alex. Alex Como Sr., founder of Justice Seekers America. I have some things to say. <clears throat> I grew up in Youngstown, Ohio, since one year old. My family's home sat in Yakima. The home was built by both of my grandparents, put in on it for a wedding gift. That was the home that was built for them during World War II, and they settled there after World War II. My father had Little Abner's restaurant on the 410 highway. My father was a remarkable American, a remarkable American, a patriot extraordinaire. He died serving this country. I've got a letter right there on the wall from President Clinton thanking my father for his lifetime commitment to the United States of America and the people. My father was instrumental with his M1 carbine, saving thousands of lives from the camps of Germany. I want you to know, folks, that uh, I grew up with police in my home, with boxers in my home with all kinds of people in my home. I grew up since nine years old in Yakima, Washington. I became a Western type fellow there. I played rock and roll for many years uh, with a lot of local people and people who lived outside of Yakima as far away as the Lower Valley who played with me in Yakima and the surrounding areas. My last band was Nighthawk. We played at the Central Washington State Fair three years. Uh, we did local places, we did public TV, we did more. Uh, when I had the restaurants, uh, when I had Papa Como's that we built at 912 East Yakima Avenue, across from the old Holiday Inn, they were our customers. I mean, we had a, a, a really great business. We had a wonderful restaurant, all our own recipes. I am Chef Alexander from Alexander's Italian Cuisine on 3rd and Knob Hill. I built that restaurant myself also. Uh, there was a woman there uh, named Janice who set me up on a charge of assault. I never laid a hand on Janice Grimes. She set me up. I've got witnesses that can place Janice speaking to other members of the same group that ripped off my family for millions of dollars. And now with all the cars gone, all my Western clothing, buckles, belts, boots, hats, jeans, uh, 16 buckles in fact, my saddles are gone, my diving gear is gone. I can verify that I, d I was diving with a Navy SEAL, and uh, this was many years ago, but uh, we were diving, and uh, a great white was coming at him with its uh, mouth open, and quite frankly, I had to do what I had to do. I had a 450-pound pneumatic spear gun, and I fired that spear gun down his throat and basically blew out the top of his head. I had to kill that shark, and I don't kill any kind of living creatures unless they threaten my life. But my friend's life was threatened, so I took the life of that great white shark. Um, anyway, uh, there are other things I've accomplished in my life besides building Papa Como's Italian Cuisine, Antonio's on Summit View for a short time, and then Alexander's on 3rd and Knob Hill. I've had two major back surgeries doing this. Uh, I studied, uh, I was a boxer, just uh, my dad trained me when I was a kid. My uh, boxing gloves hang right over here with my sword rack. Yeah, my sword rack. I got into martial arts when I was nine and a half, ten years old, and off and on I studied martial arts for years. I advanced and advanced and advanced, and I'm proud of it. I'm your American Eagle, and I'm proud of it. I uh, want my keyboards back, I want our guitars back, my amp, all my music equipment, I want all my western clothing back, all my hats, all my buckles, all my conch belts, and my Jim Morrison style belt, and my leather pants I used to wear on stage. All my leathers are gone, helmets are gone, communication systems gone, um, come on, my bike was a dragon bike. Okay, uh, <laughs> my son's bike is gone. Um, my 67 RS was running over 500 horse, totally restored, beautiful car green black stripes <sighs> nice anyway uh, I'm trying to help my nation and I wanted to tell you that I grew up in America with all kinds of people 
regardless of skin color or anything. I'll bet if I talk to my friends today, they're still my brothers and sisters, and I'll bet nobody can argue that point with me. I have a native girl named after me, Alexandra. Hi, sweetheart. Give your mom and dad my love. I have a lot of native brothers and sisters out there. Bob Brown. Hey, Bob. What's up, man? Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all my friends on Facebook, hey, you know what? People can say we don't have real friends on Facebook. I've got some really good friends on Facebook. I'll tell you what I really do. Now, I am all over the web. I've got friends all over the world, lots of martial artists, lots of military, and so on. My mom and dad were both commanders of the DAV. They worked with vets for years and years. One of my dad's proudest accomplishments was when he and his friends got those transportation vans to take veterans to their appointments and their hospital visits. That's the day he wore a suit and he was smoking a big cigar. There's a picture of it in my Facebook. I love my family. My dad was remarkable. He was CCC. He was in Route 66 once years ago, the old TV series. I had old Western stars at my house. Uh, I'll tell you what, folks, if you look through my pictures, you'll, you'll see, uh, <laughs> uh, we accomplished a lot. We gave people jobs and I want justice for my family, but right now, America, we need justice for our nation. All of our laws are being ignored. Now in my day, I did get in trouble. I did. And I freely admit that. But a long time ago, I made a decision to change my life, and I changed my life 380 degrees twice, okay? I did it twice. I accomplished great things. I owned my home. My parents, of course, owned their home forever. I helped add on to that house. I built a lot of things there at my place, too. I had a ranch-style home, of course. And the house that I had used to belong to the Hernandez family, who I grew up with there in Yakima. And I've got a lot of friends out there, Perez family. Uh, I, man, I know so many people back home. Hey, hi, everybody. You know what? I really miss Yakima because it's my hometown. But I'm going to have to uh, do things about that. But right now, I'm concerned about our nation. And our nation is in big trouble. I grew up with all you people out there. All you people out there know me. And people on Facebook, you know what I stand for. You know I stand by my word. I don't hide my face. I don't wear a mask. And I've got masks. I am a dual katana yielding martial artist, okay? I can't help who I am. I will not apologize for it. I love the arts. I'm trying to get something together here in the Northwest. I'd love to have the masters from all over the world participate in this. The arts should be shared with the world. Our children should be studying the arts. This is very important to our nation. The Constitution belongs to the people. We are the rightful masters of the U.S. Constitution. We are the rightful masters of both Congress and the courts. Not to overthrow the Constitution, but to overthrow the men who would pervert the Constitution. And excuse me, but our Constitution has been definitely perverted. The Supreme Court has been perverted. Our nation is being perverted. We need to straighten this country out and we need to do it right. We cannot put Obama back in office. I'm sorry, Mr. Obama, but you broke your promises and a lot of us had faith that you would do something, but then we found out you're not who you say you are. And a lot of people want to argue that fact, but you know the truth just like we do, Mr. Obama. You're talking to American patriots out here, and believe me, we're better investigators than the investigators, and we'll make better FBI agents and better police officers than who's in power right now. We're getting fed up. The laws are not being upheld in this nation, and all people have a right to equal justice under the law. Now, we're going to take this nation back to its greatness, and we'll do it together, America, because that's who we are. You see that flag over my shoulder? It's got 48 stars. It's got blood stains and bullet holes in it. My brother was a U.S. Marine. My father was a U.S. Army Air Force man. 
He helped save thousands of lives from the German camps. I've got his Star of David. I've got his bronze star and all his ribbons and medallions. You need to understand where I'm coming from. My father and I and the rest of my family worked very hard. Four generations were wiped out. I'm not going to let this happen to this nation, just like I didn't let it happen to my family. I am pursuing that. And I will not back down on this fight for this nation. I was not in the military. My family was. But I swore an oath. Matter of fact, I've sworn two oaths. And I will not back down on my oaths. No one should. Congress has, the senators have, and the president has. It's got to end, and it's got to end now. Vote them out. And if we can't get them out that way, military, you better step up and do your jobs. You go to my Facebook page and friend me. If you're an American and you love this country, friend me. I have friends all over this country. I share information from all over this country. I'm your American Eagle. My name is Alex Como Sr. I'm a restaurateur. Actually, folks, I'm an entrepreneur, and I love giving people jobs and training them. I'm in the restaurant business, but I can do a heck of a lot more than just run restaurants, and I want to help this nation get back on its feet. Anybody out there can help me get started again? You won't regret it. I got some great plans and some great recipes, and they're all proven. I've owned and built many restaurants. My family is a restaurant family. But my father trained me to shoot a gun a long time ago. He said it was very important. My father identified a picture of George Soros in the camps of Germany. Okay? George Soros is a Nazi war criminal, and he's running our TV networks. He's part of the New World Order. We need to stop this. And we need to stop this now. We can't mess around. The plans they have, if you don't know, you better start doing some investigation, America. You better wake up and smell the coffee. And if you can't smell the coffee, I can tell you how to make cowboy coffee. But you'll need a strainer, and you'll drink the best coffee you ever had.